Hello to all my friends out there. So I want to make a Mexican meatloaf. I've made one before, but it was quite a while ago. And I make it pretty much just like our regular meatloaf, except I use salsa. And uh, this was one of the meals I used to make all the time when I worked. So I wanted to mention something about... Um, when I retired, my idea was I was going to do the swap meet. But the thing about the swap meet is, is you have to pay $30 to get in. So you're, you're kind of basically giving away $30 of your money. And that would be every single week to get in there and make money. And it would be even more if you went to like Colby's uh, swap meet. And so... Uh, when I was a hairdresser, if you didn't watch what you were doing, you could actually end up working for nothing. I think that it's going to be um, harder. This is, I'm going to use about, this is only a half a pound of salsa, and I got this kind. I'm not super picky about, about salsa. So I had a little minced onion, and this is garlic pepper okay one good thing about this is is it can be um it can be baking while you're doing whatever you have to do that's why i always like it when i work so what i do on ebay is i i don't buy a store i do the six day auction it might be a little bit more work but that way you can pretty much retain as much of your money as possible you still have to pay 5% to, um, to PayPal, and I think you have to pay 10% to uh, eBay. But you're retaining as much of your money as you poss possibly can this way. Instead of, like, uh, you know, if it was $30 a week, I'd be giving uh, the swap meet $120 a month or uh, 240 or it could actually be twice that if you go to Colby's. You would make more money, but there's no way to get past the fact that you're you're paying out maybe, you know, between 200 and 500, $250 and $500. Uh, and that's a lot of junk when you're selling at the swap meet. And so what I have been doing... So see how I have a nice meatloaf? It's only a half a pound, but it's more than enough meatloaf for me. And what I want to do tonight is I want to make instant potatoes. Now, what did I do with my beef? I wanted to show you guys the kind I got. All right, I don't know what I did with it, but what I got was I got um, grass-fed beef for five dollars a pound at grocery outlet and i find it to be pretty good and i get the turkey burger at um 99 cent only okay so this is only a half a, and the, believe me or not this is going to be a good little meatloaf and so i just stack it in one side of a pan you know if it was a a, a regular meatloaf it would go all the way across but it's not it's only a half a pound so then I'm just going to put that in the oven and bake at 350. So um, I've been doing videos um, on... Um, uh oh, my water's still in there. Oh, I wanted to show you my yogurt. My yogurt didn't set up... Well, see how it's still a little bit loose? That's my homemade yogurt. I could make an awesome smoothie out of this. I could dip some fruit into this or you know um maybe I didn't boil my yogurt enough you know you bring it to a boil and then you turn it down just below a boil the homemade is so much better anyway so if you watch what you're doing with your money all of it even when you're earning that's the most most dangerous time you know a lot of times you can spend a lot of money just getting to work 
you know, like uh, I had this one job and I said, if I keep working here, I'm going to have to buy a new car. Is it really worth it? No, it's not really worth it. Here's the Dollar Tree eggs. And so um, I think uh, I was watching Ice Age Farmer and he had a farmer on there and he said the best thing is just get back to basics. So your basic food would be meat, potatoes, rice or sweet potatoes and vegetables with milk and bread, preferably homemade bread. I bought this really good bread. I, I need, really didn't need more bread, but it, it lasts forever in the freezer. This stuff is good. I could make some good sandwiches out of that. So tonight, when I come back, it's going to be meatloaf, instant potatoes, and vegetables. So, and, and if you just go back to the basic food, like maybe cereal and milk for breakfast, a, a sandwich and some soup or a salad and some kind of meat, vegetable, you know, basic food, maybe have a few cookies, maybe buy a little ice cream. That's what we used to do back in the day, back before people got lofty. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.